When we, the minute we came in the door, mm -hmm. there was so gracious, so nice, and so welcoming. Oh, it was it made it feel like it's even closer than our own family. It, all the words that you spoke and your the vision of Islam and the way you presented Islam, it was wonderful. It's wonderful. Can we get a feedback because we want to get uh, these kind of open houses in many mosques, many people are welcoming what you oh, learned. Oh, it yeah. was unbelievable. It really, the welcome we got. The welcome was absolutely From the time we marvelous. got out of the car, mm -hmm. everyone smiled, welcomed us, yes. guided us up so the stairs. We so didn't good. know where to go. So everybody was so nice and we could... From we, the minute we came in the door, mm -hmm. there was so gracious, so nice, and so welcoming. Oh, it was it made it feel like it's even closer than our own family. Nice, nice. And then you were saying something about the presentation. What part of the presentation that you think, wow, we didn't realize that's what Muslims believe? Well, uh, actually, the, present, the presentation is that it, it made me believe that Muslims don't, the difference in the belief isn't that deep and great. There are some differences, you explained them very nicely. Uh, one of them was the uh, women, uh, actually are very important yeah. in Islam. And when we look at women in Islam, we all we perceive them mostly all garbed up, feeling sorry for them. And you made it understand, no, they are actually very important yes. uh, partners in life. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so don't be sorry for them. They like to wear it, and God wants them to wear it, because that stops objectifying each other, and that's how Mary, the mother of Jesus, used to wear, right? Yeah. So they are actually uh, following the example of that great lady, Mary, the mother of yes, Jesus. Yes, yes. Another thing, your emphasis on the word faith. Yes, I can't speak as well as you did on it, but it, that is the heart of not only Muslim, it's the heart of all our, our feelings. If we don't have faith, we have nothing. And therefore, I'm glad you, you mentioned it because I've, I've been in a lot of churches, but I've never felt that they emphasize faith enough. I mean, they talked about it, but they never said like you did, If you, it's the heart and that drives everything in, in our beliefs. Yes. Your, your emphasis on, on historical facts was so interesting. It was made a lot of these events very clear, and I agree with what you said about it, how you phrased it, and so that was important. And that coming from Islam, that belief in Islam, it puts a, a beautiful view of Islam to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed at, your, at all the words that you spoke and the, your the vision of Islam and the way you presented Islam. It was wonderful. It's wonderful. And you were saying something about LGBT, what we said? Yeah. No, I, I, I uh, appreciate your, your comments on it because right now it is a very big topic uh, in, in public places, LGBT, and uh, the general impression now is out there that anybody has the right to be what they want to be, mm -hmm. and your presentation made it clear and that is actually not so, because God created what? A man, yes. a woman, yeah. and then oh, you cannot be either one or the other unless, and then you de de one detailed, exception. detailed the exception. Yes. Very clear. I've never heard that exception. So it's again, just to time. summarize the five points, right, quickly, yeah. God's guidance is complete and perfect. Okay. That's the starting point. That's the starting point. Point yeah. number two is God created only two genders. And from those two genders, Adam and Eve, he created all of us, correct? Point number two. Point number three is, whenever God creates something, like male, he creates them perfect, female creates them perfect, right? And then when he gave them responsibilities, when men do the responsibilities, they will get reward 
women do their responsibilities, they will get reward. Right? So equal reward. Male and female were created perfect. Yes. They yes. don't have to, you're not going to change them to perfect. They already are perfect. Yes. So to start making changes, you're destroying something that was very well made in the first place. So we should not desire yes. to be me to be a female and you to be a male uh, because that just breaks away the whole society, the family, the culture and God's plan. Yes. Right? And lastly, what I mention is parents, they have the right. Oh, they have the important. right. Yeah. Oh, Very most important, important statement that you made, yeah. Yes. Because this is not what's happening right now. Yes. Because no, they have, parents have the right to educate their children regarding morality, regarding uh, gender, and regarding sex education. Yes. Yeah. Not the teacher, because why do I trust a teacher? Right. Me as a parent, I have knowledge, I have responsibility not some XYZ teacher out there, right? Yeah. Because I would be held responsible on the Day of Judgment that, right. Sabeel, have you taught your child about God's guidance? Yeah. At that point, I cannot say, you know what, I send my baby, my child uh, to be a babysitter and the babysitter taught my child, right? <laughs> Wrong things, right things, yeah. any which way. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I like your emphasis on that parents have a responsibility to, to, for the education. Most parents are not taking the responsibility one reason I think we have so many children that are having problems is because their parents have not educated them, they have not taken the responsibility. Yes. They think somebody else will help do it for them. And that's, not, yeah. that's not true. So for that reason, in the solutions which I mentioned, one of the solutions is that there should be a male figure in the home. Yes, I right? agree. I agree. Female figure, obviously mother should be there, but if there is no male figure, then a boy, a child, there's more prone to go into and do the wrong things with the wrong people. Right? I've read a lot of figures that proved that. Well, I don't know if it proved it, but it, they showed that very same thing you said. If there's only one adult in the, in the household, the children are in a lot of trouble, particularly the young men. They're going to have a lot of problems. And the large parts in this society here, that is not possible that there's one male in the household. It's not possible, you're saying? No. The male sits in jail. Yeah, that's so and unfortunate. the mother may be in jail or yes. elsewhere. So that's a difficult thing I think uh, we have to think about or See, work on, work yeah. on. But if the statement is still correct. Oh, the statement is correct. The statement yeah. is correct if you don't have the But parent. it's not happening. Yeah. It, it, it's not happening the because solution. obviously uh, God is not part of the equation in this yes. country. Uh, the legal and the penal system right. is broke. People commit rape and they come out after five years. Oh, yeah. So any which way that you look at it, it's like a really broken system. Yes, so what I presented, the solutions to you know three, four uh, problems, that worked in history. It's a perfect system. It is given by God against racism, against breakdown of the family structure, against obesity, against uh, you know drugs, gambling, homicide, suicide, violence. If I had time, I would have presented all of them, right? Yeah. But the point is that God's guidance, it works. It's if he present, adopts it, yes. You present a whole picture, a whole solution. And that's what's important. God has to start at the top and shed his light over the whole solution. If you don't have that picture, you have nothing. Exactly. So I'm really glad that both of you came. Please read the Quran. We right? We Read will. the Quran and you also have the book about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yes. this book over yes. here. And you can understand better. And if you have any questions, give us a call. There's a telephone number there. So may God guide, may God bless both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.